Jesus. Can you please remain standing and let us pray. Our Lord and our God, we say thank you. We have come today to say thank you, Yahweh. No man can take your glory. Papa God, I have come to stand before your people to say thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jehovah God, for the family heads that are assembled here today. Thank you, O oh God, for each and every one that is under this roof today. Amen. Yahweh, we bless your name. We glorify your holy name. Holy Spirit, take complete control. Father God, I'm not perfect. I have come today, O oh God, in obedience of the prophetess. Amen. Come and bring forth the word. Amen. I know I am not a pastor. Mm. I, am, I know that I am not a preacher. Yes. But I am a living testimony. Yes. And so I come to say thank you. Yes. And I come to encourage somebody today. Yes. Yahweh, let your name be praised. Yes. Speak, O oh God, that I will speak to your people. Yes. Speak to me, O oh God, for I am just a vessel. Amen. That your name will be glorified. Amen. Yahweh, take the glory and share it with no man. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can have your seats. Uh, Mr. Now, women, please remain standing. Today, I want to tell God thank you for the pastoral role the women department and members of this great ministry for giving me the opportunity to come here today to serve as your messenger. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. It is a wonderful day today. Some people will not understand. But those of us that be on a journey will understand what the meaning of today. I stand here in this public manner to say the God of Mother Kelly and Pastor Kelly is real. Amen. And I want to bless God for each and every one of you in this ministry that took upon your time, that had sleepless nights in this church. Seeking God on my behalf. Amen. I tell God, thank you. Amen. What man was waiting for? Oh. Ooh. Hey. Hey. But nobody knows tomorrow. Yeah. Only God knows. Yeah. And so we are grateful today that we are doing something else in this century world. Yeah. And not what our enemies were expecting. And so I bless God today for each and every one of you. May the good Lord reward you. I cannot pay you. My family cannot pay you. But I can only ask the same God that all of us ask to reward you. Whatever your heart desires are, may God grant you them. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I've been asked to speak today. And I want you to permit me to speak to you on the topic. Don't be like them. Please be wise. And so please, if you are there, turn with me to Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 14. Matthew 25, verse 1 to 14. And you can read for me. Matthew 25, verse 1 to 14, read. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be led unto them, unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Ten virgins, they carried their lambs. Carrying their mom tells you that they were prepared. 
Because they were going to meet the bridegroom. They did not go with their empty hands. Because there was something required of them to go and wait for the bridegroom. Continue. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Okay. Continue. Those that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom come, go ye out to meet me. Verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and turned their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for your lamps are gone out. For the wise answer, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. Verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a fine country, who call his own servants and deliver unto him, and unto him his goods. The last verse. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his vessel, to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Thank you. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. You have listened to the scripture reading. I start by to encourage you today, don't be like them. There were ten virgins. They went to meet the bridegroom. They came with their lamp. Burning their lamps in their hands, in your mind, you think they were prepared. But five of them there were foolish. Why the other five were one? I stop by to tell you, don't be like them. Amen. Carrying an empty lamp, going to meet the bridegroom, for you don't know the time nor the hour he will arrive. And you took a little oil with you. Before he can arrive, the oil is finished. And the five foolish ones Walk up to the five wild ones and said, Give us some of your oil. And they said to them, Our oil is not sufficient. So they are selling oil somewhere along the street. Sometimes in life, when you are not prepared, you will get diverted, you will get distracted. Something will take you from the right path to another path. Okay. And so they send them, go and buy. You don't even know the distance at which you are going to buy. You don't even know when the bridegroom will arrive. But you are going to buy all. Work while it is day. Because when night comes, when no man shall work. They were supposed to work. They did not work. Yes. The time they were supposed to put oil in their lamp, Amen. they did not put oil in their lamp. Yes. And about the time when the bridegroom was coming, yes. that was when they realized there was no oil. Yes. Working while it is day. Yes. Because one night, no man shall work. Amen. 
they went to work looking for oil. Something happened. In their absence, the Messiah arrived. I step back to encourage you today. Prepare yourself. For the time will come when the bridegroom shall come. I want you to be ready. It is time to prepare yourself now. Because you don't know when the master will come. In the process of preparing yourself, you need to pray without ceasing. You need to pray without ceasing. Christian brothers and sisters, there are sometimes in life situation take you closer to God. There are sometimes in life condition take you closer to God. And so you need to pray without ceasing. You get to your point in your life where you see man as your final decision maker. I got to that point. When I felt that nobody can do anything for me besides somebody that I trust. And God said, I will show myself to you. I will put you in a corner where man will become irrelevant to you. You will see no man powerful than me. Christian brothers and sisters, your condition will put you in that situation where you have but to take to God. Pray without ceasing, for you don't know when the bridegroom will come. Don't be like them. Please be wise. A few days ago, I listened to our vice president. She was encouraging women. And she said something, and I pick up that statement. And I want to share with you today. She said there are difference in praying, crying and praying. There are difference in crying and praying. When you are crying, you are complaining. Verse 4 says, I am your God. I will take 
care of you until you are until you are old and your hair is gray. I need you. I will care for you. I will give you help and rescue you. Yahweh, if you say these words for me, my hair is not gray yet. I cannot die. Then imagine when God calculate my bill. Yeah. 
what it will be. Now you sitting here today under my voice, think about your age and the air that you have been breathing. Oh, the life that you have. If they were to give you a price today, you cannot pay. All you can do when you wake up in the morning is to say thank you, Yahweh. I gave you the praise. Don't be foolish. Be wise. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Be like Jacob. I said be like Jacob. Because when you read the Bible, it will tell you that at one point in life, in Genesis chapter 32, Verse 25 to 27. I think Jacob had an injury. And they were working on Jacob. And then later on they said, come and go. Jacob said, I will not go. I will not let you go. Until you bless me. Jacob would have been foolish. So it says, since they call my legs, let me go. He said, no. I will not go until you bless me. Sometimes in life, you need to talk to God by yourself. Christian brothers and sisters, get to know God for yourself. It is important to know God for yourself. When you know God for yourself, nobody will tell you if you don't pay time. You will not see him. Because the Bible specifies how you will go to heaven. Thank you, Lord. No God for yourself. Stop running behind signs and wonders. Be wise. It is not all that left all this God. Many are called, but few are chosen. Sometimes in your distress, you can be searching everywhere. Anywhere you yell jump sign, you go running there. Anywhere you yell thou says the Lord, you go there. I've been on that road. And I come to tell you, it is not everywhere that you yell jump sign, that's where the Messiah is. Be wise. Be wise. Pray without ceasing. Search the scripture and ask God for the spirit of discernment. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Ask God for the spirit of discernment. Because sometimes your condition take you into all kinds of places. Somebody will come and tell you because you don't understand the scripture. They said, yeah, for you to provoke God. How can you provoke God? How can you give him provoke God? Somebody come and tell you, give until you provoke God. You can never provoke God. When God ready to bless, he does not consult. I stand by to let you know that favor is not fair. Favor is not fair. When God get ready to bless, he does not consult. And that's why when Esther entered the strange land, she became the queen in the strange land. When God get ready, he will break protocol for you. When God gets ready, you don't need man knowledge. You don't need man 
to decide for him. Yes. He yes. breaks protocol. Yes. Yes. He pick you from among your siblings. Yes. And he bless you. Yes. Meanwhile, you are the youngest in the family. Yes. If you were to consult, your mom would say, hey, that the nature of what happened to our business or our people. And so because he don't want anybody knowledge, he do as he pleases. He said, you will not understand it now. When it is all over, that one you will understand that I am God. Open! Our Savior will want to come in. Don't be like them. Hold on to God on changing grace. Don't let go of him. Be ready for our enemies must submit. They got no choice but to submit. When you understand the scripture and you search the scripture and you know God for yourself and you pray when all season and you work while it is day. Oh my friend, I start by to tell you it is not possible for God to leave you along the way. It is not possible. Women, see a lot of women here today. You cannot afford to be foolish. You hear me, eh? Women, every female in this room, what a girl or grandma or auntie, you cannot afford to be foolish. The reason why you cannot afford to be foolish is because God cannot give responsibility when he do not trust that you can make it. Sometimes we pray and we pray, oh God, help me. I want to be rich. Look at me. I am suffering. My friends have arrived. They got everything. We went to school together. What happened to me? Sometimes when God bless you, you want to handle the blessing. A blessing can kill you. you. There are some people when God bless them. The whole community in trouble. Hello. And when you want to know the true attitude of a man, give him power. Or let blessings for blessing for. You will see the real character. So women, you cannot afford to be foolish. Because God himself, before he gave responsibility, he understands that you can make it. So when you have that, you say wisely. There are some people that will be in the choir. They are seeking. Sunday morning they are here. Saturday they are sweeping the church. Immediately they get a job. Pastor can't see them again. When the pastor calls, church member, we see you two months. Oh, Pastor, you is still a work low. What you ask God for has become a hindrance. Yes. It's time to be wise. You and your very pastor were praying together. The blessing of the right. You can't even come to contribute. The work low. Oh, I was all the time. I went too hard on Friday and Saturday. I couldn't make it to church. But you have forgotten those things. God cannot give you a blessing that you cannot handle. Women, you cannot afford. To be foolish. God, He really trusts women. 
God trusts women so much to the point that <laughs> he gave women responsibility. He blessed us and he said, Go ye into the world. Be faithful and multiply. That kind of responsibility, foolishness is not associated with it. Yeah. Me and my friends 
we start on the road. But that woman will open her lap and know. She will say, My husband today has sold. Hey, yeah, what you say? Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot afford to be foolish. The nation is on your shoulders. Women, you have proven yourself in this land. You have proven yourself in this land. In difficult times in Liberian history, our women have stood the test of time. When our men will not come outside, the women were out there. Oh, yes. But I start by to tell you, when you are an educated woman and your husband is not educated, and you disrespect your husband because you get power, you don't respect that man. The Bible curses you. Yes. Hello. Regardless of your education. Regardless of the level for which God has placed you, yes. as He trusts you to manage and everything, uh -huh. He said, Woman, submit. Yes. 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 So don't be carried away with everything that God has given you yes. to the point that because you are the neck, you can turn the head anyway. Yes. When you come in front of the children, you're calling him drunker. Yes. Who married to a drunker? Not you. Yes. Oh. If I am a child and you are calling my father drunk, I will stand by you and say, Mama, so you see no other woman like drunk or yourself. <laughs> so you cannot afford to be foolish. There are some words that you cannot use on your husband. No Women, there are some things that you cannot do for your husband. Respect him. Because favor is not fair. Yeah. At a particular time, you will be earning. Yeah. At a particular time, he will not be earning. Yeah. They said the two shall become one. Yeah. What is for him is you. What is for him is for you. Yeah. Please, mothers. Jail. 
I remember stomping the graduation. St. Yeah, Peter Lutheran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to that graduation and they said, those boys will not graduate. <laughs> but guess what? I was sitting in my house minding my own business. Yeah. When they came to me with this rape case, yeah. I said, because it's rape, anything we discuss here, please, let's record it. Mm. So I recorded it. It took a very long time before we came to the conclusion. Yes. They have forgotten. Mm -hmm. The people compromised. Mm -hmm. What? And said their daughter was mm -hmm. that I was creating a scene. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But the only trust that I had. My trump card was that recording. Because it had lasted for over seven to eight months. So the problem. Yes. And I brought the recording. And I showed the recording. I say, You people came to my house. Sure. Christian brothers and sisters, I know sometimes poverty mm -hmm. yes. brings us to the point yes. to make some decisions. Uh -huh. But understand that as a Christian mother, there are some things that you cannot be part of. Yes. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey. Mm. Church. Not all woman is a mother. Yes. Hey. There are some mothers who just don't care. When they ran out to fight, they are once more to beat them. One more beating men. The woman coming home, her husband is cooking the little dry rice for the children. That woman is coming, she's already drunk. It is not all woman is a mother. And her husband is there cooking the little dry rice for the children. Yeah. When the man won't talk, they will want him monkey. Yeah. In my yeah. When she hit for the man, <laughs> someone in their mouth. Not a small rotten. <laughs> when they hit their teeth. They can be doing the twin until he reach for that door. When the man see his own wife, he's shaking. There is no peace in the home. It's not all woman. It's a mother. Praise the name of Jesus. Some mothers or some women, you will see them Sunday morning, time to come to church, they are staying in their camp, with their two brushes in their hand, running from one neighbor house to another. Friend, you hear the news? Oh, I got cheese for you. The pastor here, well, for last night. And then you will come to church. Oh, mama of the ministry. Bless me. When she touched you, she was there her hands on you because you came. 
She don't know your heart. But God, He sees your heart. But God, He knows your feelings towards her. So when you come without deceit, then you say, Oh, the mother of my ministry. I'm not discussing about the little misunderstanding. Who told you that pastor and the wife cannot fight? Yes. They are human beings. They can disagree. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mama will be stubborn. And pastor will shake her a little bit. <laughs> Listen to me. I am a man of time. <laughs> For you. As a deaconess in the church, you were there at that time. So you know the story. Yes. Ma, you are not there, Oma. What will happen between Pastor and Mola today, Ma? The pity when a girl, Oma. I'm not pity now, Emma. Yeah. Praise the name of Jesus. There are some things that look very common to us, but it's affecting our preparedness. Oh, there are some mothers running from church to church looking for signs and wonders. Yes. Refusing to understand the scripture for themselves. Mm -hmm. Falling behind their friends. I know this other pastor, they call him Jehovah Shap Shap. <laughs> when the Bible says, I am the God of all time and season. Yes. There was a time for everything. Yes. A time to plant yes. and a time to reap. Yes. A time to be born and a time to die. Yes. You don't want to wait for God's time. Yes. You are searching for it. Yes. Looking for it in all kinds of ways. Yes. There are some mothers, they are not patient. Yes. They don't know how to. Yes. They want to get rid of how to. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. In the process of serious problem for the youth. Yes. I start back today to encourage you. Amen. Don't be like them. Yes. Don't be like them. Yes. Don't be like them. Yes. Be wise. Yes. Don't be a foolish mother. Yes. Because you have for what to do for Jesus. Yes. Even Jesus on the cross he recognized mothers. Mm -hmm. He said, Mother, behold thy son. Yes. And he said, Son, behold thy mother. Yes. I say to you today, Christian brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. Mothers, behold thy son. Amen. And son, behold that mother. Be wise. In Jesus' name. Change. Yes. You want to learn. 
You want next thing? We get play for you here. Everybody got too many churches around. Yes, sir. Yes. They four, five years, no teaching. Because you will destroy all people. The world we live in now has people. People move with foolish men or foolish women. Oh, man, no. I am shabby. Oh, man, they are fed, they are food too. They are warm now. I want people to believe that God will fish up with you. You think that it's serious. Yes. Well, I always told you in a church, you go again, God will bless this country, God will bless this government. Yes. And because she's here, you can bring it with you. Yes. That country belongs to God. Yes. Our president can preach, our senator can preach. That grandpa is a born preacher. From way back, standing with him. Born preacher. They poor and said it's a pretty bad. They went. They poor for your boy. From there, for this little bit. Very enough. Come on, they don't bless you. Thank you.